welcome to the fourth episode of the 2022 through 2023 season of Sycamore Junior High School Daily Video Announcements. Today is September 9th, and now for your daily news media full of helpful school information. I'm Maddie. And hi, I'm Noah. Now it's time where we all stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor our amazing country as we all say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Okay, awesome work in school spirit. So great to see so many aviators out in full force yesterday to cheer on our boys' soccer game. They won 2-1, to one, defeating Princeton. Way to go. Yes, I'm already making arrangements for our next like, more cheering event going on next Thursday to cheer on our cross-country team at Good Shepherd. Go Sycamore Junior High Aviators. Teachers and students keep showing our Sycamore school spirit, and let's cheer on our students and classmates. Okay, next we have to make another reminder from our school counselors to make sure that all scheduled change requests are in to them today. Friday, September 9th. We can have a parent email our counselor, or we can stop down to the counseling office today for consideration of a schedule change. Yes, remember today is our last day for schedule change requests. And go Bengals and go Apes. Next up, National Day. Did you know that today is National Teddy Bear Day? The teddy bear was invented in honor of President Theodore Roosevelt. Teddy bears are so cute. This past Wednesday, September 8th, 2022, the United Kingdom's longest ruling monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, sadly passed away at the age of 96 after 77 years of rule. She first started ruling in 1952, and she had a great impact on our society. She inspired many people, not just in her kingdom, but all around the world. And after she passed, thousands gathered at Buckingham Palace in her honor. Thank you for your service, Queen Elizabeth, and may you rest in peace. Yes, rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. Happy birthday to Cameron D. and Matthew L., who will be celebrating today. Also, happy birthday to Lily D., Maxwell D., Genesis C., and Isaac K., who are celebrating this weekend, and our staff member, Mrs. Linden and Mr. Miles, who are also celebrating this weekend. And now to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your Friday video announcements. Big Friday today. All right, remember, Sycamore Singing Company, if you would like to join Sycamore Singing Company, which is led by Ms. Ca Mr. Callahan and Mrs. Savage, all right, you need to tune in to the uh, Sycamore Singing Company on the Blackboard page. You can access it starting on last Wednesday. All right, you search for Callahan in the Blackboard search bar, and Sycamore Singing Company will be displayed as one of the classes. It will have audition information on that. If you have questions, email Mr. Callahan or Mrs. Savage. All right, same thing. If you're interested in International Club, International Club, you need to use this code ENXDMII to join the Google Classroom for International Club or see Mrs. Wolford. And if you're interested in joining Student Council, uh, please see Mrs. Manning in the Counseling Office for an application. These applications are due by September 16th. All right, on Monday, there is a holiday here in the United States. Um, it's a fairly new holiday um, uh, because of an event that happened about 20 years ago. On a beautiful uh, morning on September 11, 2001, the world for many Americans was changed forever. Four planes taken over by terrorists were used to attack the United States. Two of these aircraft were flown into the World Trade Center in New York City. The third plane crashed into the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and the fourth plane, targeted for the U.S. Capitol, was taken over by passengers and forced to crash in an empty field in Pennsylvania. We memorialize Patriots Day, not for the despicable acts of these terrorists or the catastrophic loss of innocent life, but rather the tremendous bravery and sacrifice of the police officers and firefighters and ordinary people who rushed into burning buildings to rescue survivors. We remember the brave passengers of Flight 93 who fought and died to prevent the hijackers from crashing their plane into one of the very symbols of the United States. We remember this day the innocent victims who perished on that fateful day. On this day of all days, we remember the values that make this nation a beacon of light for the rest of the world. The official name for Monday's holiday is Patriots Day to commemorate the memory of those who fell that day and to give them the honor they so richly deserve. That's all for today. You guys have a great weekend. And remember the Patriots on Patriots Day and their sacrifice. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Now we have, next we have a special special message from our Dean of Students, Mr. Stern. Good morning, Aviator Nation. I'm Mr. Stern. Uh, we met uh, earlier 
Last week, I'm the Dean of Students here, and today I want to talk to you about TARDIS. Um, first of all, we are doing a tremendous job with TARDIS. You guys are off to a great start. Um, but we want to talk about it today because sometimes it is something that kind of builds up over time. So I want to talk about expectations today and also talk about the consequences that we have here at school, not just with TARDIS, but for um, other uh, items as well. Let's start with TARDIS. You are expected to be in your first bell classroom at 7.57 a.m. I know that's a little bit different from last year. Last year it was 8.02, but the expectation is 7.57. That's our new start time. If you are late to school, you must check in with the attendance office. So you gotta let them know, hey, I'm late. Um, your teacher will expect that you come in with an, uh, a pass that says you're either excused or unexcused. If you are unexcused late, you slept in, your alarm didn't go off, whatever that reason might be, three times at that point I will be reaching out to you. I will have a conversation with you about being late to school. You know, one thing that I will share with you, being late to school, that is always going to be your responsibility. Hey, things happen, we understand that. Sometimes our alarm doesn't go off, sometimes we, we get stuck in traffic. Um, those are things that are allowable once, twice, but when it starts to get three times, four times, five times, six times, and more, that's when we start to get a little bit concerned. But hey, the traffic is always going to be there. So that really puts the responsibility on you um, to make sure that you are leaving in time. Hey, if it's your parent that's making you late, uh, we do offer a bus. Uh, that bus does get here on time. So you can't put it on your parents that they're getting me here late. We expect you to be here on time. So you guys are, are growing up and some of you are getting ready to go to the high school next year. Hey, I want to address some of the consequences that we have here at Sycamore Junior High. These are not just consequences for unexcused tardies, but they are consequences that go along with other behaviors in our school. But with unexcused tardies, so the first time I have to meet with you, you're starting to rack up some unexcused tardies. Um, we'll just do a phone call home. So I'll let you know, hey, you're kind of on our radar. I'll let your parents know that we definitely have some concerns. Second time I have to meet with you, so you're still racking up some unexcused tardies, that will be a phone call home and after school detention. So the bell rings, you'll go to after school detention, that goes until five o'clock. Um, and then hopefully that will solve the problem going forward. Hey, that doesn't fix the problem. Keep having these unexcused tardies. Hey, we will move into Friday school. Yeah, we do have Friday school here at the junior high. It is after school until 545. And then still can't figure it out. We've done after school detention. We've done Friday school. We move into something very special that we have here at the junior high. It is Saturday school. So it takes place from 8 a.m. until 11 a.m on Saturdays. Hey students, we don't have any teachers who want to be here for after school detention. Definitely not Friday school and definitely, definitely not Saturday school. But we do have some members of the staff who are willing to stay in those instances. Um, why do we care about these things? You know, who cares if I'm late? Well, there's, there's lots of reasons we care. One, Obviously, it reduces your instructional time, and that is why we are here at school, is for your instruction. Two, it is a distraction to not just your, your peers, but it's a distraction to your teacher. A lot of times they're going through the agenda of the day, and now you're coming in late and you're disrupting that. Uh, sometimes when you come to school, it disrupts surrounding classes. You're in the hallway, there are lockers banging. Um, we're trying to eliminate that. And lastly, hey guys, at some point, hopefully, you're going to have a job and being on time is something that is valued in our society. So it is important to um, start getting some of those goals and some of those behaviors now. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any concerns or things that can make our school better. I'm at sternm at sycamoreschools.org. Hey, you can't affect the consequences, but you can always change your behavior. Have a great day. Now for the joke of the day. What fruit do twins love? I don't know. What? Pears. <laughs> 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 And that's a wrap for today's daily video announcement. See you on Monday. Go Aves. Who did?